Well, just eight minutes of basketball left here at Kearsarge Regional High School. You can watch the YCN News every weekday at 7 and 10. YCN News is a digest of all things local. News, sports, events, and public affairs in the Dartmouth Lake Sunapee region. It's YCN, your local view. So we start with a 17-point difference here in this final period. Ross Cord pass, moving the ball well around the perimeter. Woodsy kicks it out, round and out for Mr. Ozick. That's a long range three. That's NBA right there. Duham. That's two for him. They've gotten four threes tonight, so half of their points have come on threes. Again, cross court. Put back is no good by Matos, but we'll go to the line. And you know what? With the size that Mascoma has, Jim, you can make those cross court passes. You know? You take Mascoma at the other end, they can't make that cross court pass with either Matos no. in there. No. They got a wingspan of six feet. Yeah. You know? <clears throat> Matos, two of three now from the line. Johnson. 13 points for Tom on the night. You know, you're, you're right, Jim. Tom has had a really nice game. Um, you know, we talk a lot about, you know, the, the big guys. The but. big guys. But, uh, you know, he has a nice, this is an excellent pass. What a great backdoor cut. He was wide open, made the layup. Devin Duhame. Great job. Yeah, they're able to make those passes. Yeah. Tommy Johnson again. You know, well, we'll go to a break and then we'll uh, Yeah, let's come take back this TV time out. You're watching the YZN Game of the Week. Stay tuned for more game action. Coming down the home stretch on uh, this senior night here for the boys. Stay tuned uh, near the end of our telecast. Coming up uh, soon for the HR Clough. Kearsarge Heating Oil turning up the heat player of the game where we will pick the top, uh, one of the top performers of the game. And we'll have that for you in a couple of minutes. Actually, there are two or three possibilities, but uh, we'll put our heads together and come up with one, Jack, huh? <laughs> Good luck. <Yeah. laughs> oh, boy. Our phone will be ringing tonight. Cleaning the boards once again, Zach Matos. That's just an excellent move. Yeah. That's an excellent move. You know what? Um, Tom Johnson has, has all the moves, okay? And he's always under control. And he too is a sophomore. And uh, Tommy Johnson is uh, our HR Clough Kearsarge heating oil, turning up the heat player of the game. Came out and, you know, made some good jump shots, opened things up a little bit early in the game before the uh, the big guys took over. And now he has 18 points. So yeah. Tom Johnson is our player of the game. Yeah. And see, but, see, that's what, that's what Johnson does. You know, Johnson, if Johnson makes the shots outside, he opens it up for both of the Matos underneath. 48-26, largest lead of the night with 4.55 to go. Brent Nordsey on the rebound, continuing to move the ball quickly. Yeah. Johnson, no call there. Nordsey does not follow up.
Look how far out uh, Zach Matos comes out, Jack. Yeah. And see, you know, three shots, four oh. shots. You can't make it on four shots, Jack. Well, I can tell you, Coach Camp isn't going to be happy about that. They can't, you know, with their size advantage, you can't let them have three and four shots, Jim. But I can tell you, they do play a good defense. You know, when you have Mascoma passing the ball around the perimeter, you know what, it, it does, it opens up the uh, the middle. Nick Petico picks up his first foul of the night. Checking back into the game is Taylor Matos. Duhame loves those threes. Yeah. And you know, you know, that's the other thing. You take you take a look at Kearsage, it's not like they're not boxing out, but when you take bombs, they're gonna come out. Sure. You know what I mean? I mean they're hitting steel, iron. Oh, we got a backcourt. Yep. We're at the uh, three-minute mark here to go in this one. St. June, again, we uh, announced the H.R. Clough and Kearsarge hitting oil turning up the Heat player of the game. Here, Tommy Jack. Johnson, just a sophomore, 18 points. Like he uh, duplicated his 18-point output against uh, Mascoma, and he played them up there. They've probably seen enough of Tom Johnson. Yeah. Well, you know, you're right. And you were talking a little bit earlier, Jim. You know, what, what I like about Kearsage, they do have the big bodies. But look, you know, as far as fouls, you know, they play good defense. They keep their hands up. They don't reach. You know, that, that means a lot in a state tournament, I can tell you. You know, even though he missed the layup, what a great play. Great passing. Jack Van Etten into the game, and Sam Borsi, a senior, who got a start here tonight on the senior night, back in. And a timeout taken by the Mascoma bench. Let's take this TV timeout. You're watching the YCN Game of the Week. Stay tuned for more game action. 48-29, 48-28. Got a pipe in front of the lights over there. 48-28, 2.32 to go here. And uh, Kearsarge is going to move into their next game with a 10-game winning streak. And they have uh, Sanborn on the road. And then they close out here against Hillsboro Daring on the 26th. And uh, those are two teams that I don't believe they've played yet this year. There's a big basket for Sam Portier. Sanborn is nine and five, and uh, Hillsborough is one and 14. Those are the two games that they have left. Well, you know, looking ahead, and sometimes I don't like to look ahead, but if you're Coach Camp, you know, you can close out this season. Who knows where you're gonna end up in the playoffs, right? That's right. You know, take care of business one game at a time. And Let's from Mascoma, they play Monadnock on the road, then they're home to Newfound, and then they play Hopkinton, a tough Hopkinton team on the road. Yeah, that's not much fun. <laughs> One for two at the line, Dowd. Now 21 point spread with two minutes to go here. But back by Nordzik. 
Brink Critcher Jr. set to come into the game. Well, like usual, Jim, I would like to talk about the uh, the great job the two officials have made have done today. Okay, <laughs> that's fine. Kevin Kevin Talcott and Phil Frattini, you know, they they do a good job. When you have you know a score like this, when you have a deficit like this, sometimes you have to make sure that you know, the, the players are under control. And I think both officials have done a great oh, job. Oh, they did. Yeah. Yep. You're going for Jack. Can't wait to get down here quick. Yeah. Rebound by Borsier. A bucket and a rebound in the first uh, minute he's in. We're not going to change our, our uh, player of the game, are we, Jim? Well, you know, you know, Sam keeps it up. I'm telling you. <laughs> he's got a minute 20 left. That's a nice move. Now the rebound. Oh, tapped it to his teammate. He gets half a rebound for that. Does he? Yeah. Like half a sack? Great <laughs> <laughs> Ray Critch gets into the action. They want a foul so they can get some kids into the game. <laughs> foul is on Nordsey. That's his fourth. And coming into the game is Will Chadwick, a sophomore. And Sam Lick, a sophomore. And Trent Nordsey sitting down. But, uh, great game by these guys. Six points for him. Jack Van Etten, also a senior. Killian Dowd shooting one and one. He is one of two from the line tonight. Just under a minute to go here. Going to have a quick word from uh, Coach Nate Camp. Get his thoughts. Looked like a little little walk in the park there at the paint. He got away with it. But, um, you know, we're under a minute. Jack, I want to welcome you up here into the flannel zone. <laughs> I live uh, I live in the outer edges of the, uh, the flannel belt. <laughs> I live down in uh, Kentuckuk, which is the beginning of the flannel belt that comes up <laughs> up through Sutton and Wilmot. Uh, I know you live down in the big city of Manchester. I do, I do. Um, yeah, the big city, the the queen city. But uh, I appreciate coming up here and uh, you know working with you. Well, we'll like get usual. your flannel shirt to wear. So. <laughs> well, maybe maybe next Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> This is what we call garbage time. Yeah, it is. It is. But you know what? They're in. They're playing. This was my favorite time. Because as soon as I got the ball, I well, threw it Well, you got into the game, right? Yeah, I got into the game. <laughs> into the game. <laughs> I was just like that, only I was further out. <laughs> 54-29. Eight points. In that period for Mascoma Valley. And 54-29 is your final. And I'll take a look at the uh, quick look at the scoring here while Jack makes his way on over to talk with Coach Camp. For uh, Mascoma, Alex Schwartz had uh, 14 on the night. Eight points for Devin Duhame. Killian Dowd had a, a point. And uh, Jordan DeFord with six points on the night. And a total of 28. For Kearsarge, Trent Nordsey with six and a whole bunch of rebounds. Uh, Taylor Matos had 14 points and a bunch of rebounds. Zach Matos had uh, 12 points. And uh, Tommy Johnson, our player of the game, had 18 points to lead the team. Ray Critch with a bucket and Sam Borsier with a bucket uh, off the bench. 54-29, your final. Let's take this TV timeout. You're watching the YCN Game of the Week. Hi, this is Jack Karen here with Coach Nate Camp. Coach, congratulations on a great win. Thanks a lot. You know, it was a special night for the seniors. We want to celebrate them, obviously, and their families. Um, you know, it was a great, great effort from the girls earlier and the JVs earlier before that. So it's an overall great night for the Cougars. Yeah, I totally agree. And I'll tell you, you know, the first quarter seemed like you came out like gangbusters. You used your big men a lot. And then, you know, when Tom Johnson came, and started making some shots and stuff. You know, it just seems like it opened up your big guys. Is that how you saw it? Yeah, I, I do. I mean, we, we always try to say that it's, you know, 
work inside and out. You know what I mean? Let the, let the guys down low get some touches. It's going to put a lot of pressure on their, the opposing defense. You know, so you've you got to get points in the paint. you got to find ways to get points in the paint. And then it opens it up for the guards. Um, it helps when you've got someone, you know, like, like Tom that can knock down shots and, and Trent that can, you know, see the floor and find people. Um, you know, we try to, we try to again, get, go inside to outside. And these guys work the ball, especially in that second half. We really started working the ball, and then next thing you know, we're getting you know good looks down low from the bigs. We're getting wide open jump shots. They they were tired, I think, physically. You know, we wore them down a little bit, um, and and that, they played tough. I mean, they didn't go away. So um, we had to you know make some adjustments, and good teams will adapt. And, and I think that's what the guys did tonight. You know, seeing this Mascoma team for the first time, I give them credit. They had some open shots, yeah, but they short armed them. And you know what? They're only human. I'd short arm them too if I'm going in those trees. Well, it's tough. I mean, obviously, tonight was the first night we've had Taylor back with Zach. You know, and, and those two Matto are as big as they come in our in our division, or really, you know, most divisions in the state. Um, plus, you got Trent down there too at six three. So I mean, there's a variety of length. And what we tried to do is help on their guards. So whenever I mean, they got a few dribble drives, but our goal is to always defend, rebound, and hustle. And the defending part of it, it has to be, you know, show help, show help, show help. And and when you're coming with help with 6'3", 6'8", and 6'6", you know, that, that, that benefits us a little bit. Well, Coach, congratulations again. Thank you. I know you have, what, three games left? Uh, we had two regular two, season games. Two yep. regular yep. season games and then the state tournament. Yes. It's a pleasure to come up here all the way from Manchester, New Hampshire. You know what I mean? But uh, hopefully we'll see you again. Good luck in the state tournament. So thanks for the support. Appreciate it. You're very welcome. Thank you. All right, thank you, Jack, and thank you, Coach uh, Camp. And again, uh, next up for Dan Sarge, they have a couple of games left, Sanborn and uh, Hillsboro. And for Mascoma, it's Manadnock, Newfound, and Hopkins in before the state uh, tournament. Hope you've enjoyed uh, this one. Make sure the next time you do business with our fine sponsors, you thank them for bringing you Game of the Week on YCM. So for Jack Karen, this is Jim Rivers saying good night once again from Kearsarge Regional High School in North Sutton.